There we go. More my style, more modern. Okay, not so much. Anyway. I was gonna say 2010 or something like that. So we're still getting there, modern. We're still getting there, modern. Every movie ever. <laughs> Colonel, good trip. He can't be walking out like that and then we say he's insecure. Apologies for arriving early, Lieutenant. Things are moving fast. I hear you, Colonel. Glad to have you on board. Techs are ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, we're good to go. You should read this. Then you here? There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. You are? <laughs> this is my assistant. This is my assistant, Clarice Stokes. Dr. Clarice Stokes. Kolchak. First Lieutenant Kolchak. Well, the briefing room? Unless you give me a reason to be a total asshole to you, I ain't got no beef with you at this moment in time. Bro, not even two seconds. Can we chill out? What's up, Marine? Can't you keep up? Defensive and romantic. Oh my gosh. This could be our last time together, Rachel. This After is a fun trip for him. Checkpoint, uh, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you've, you've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. Rachel King. Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing room. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? Oh! Don't you think it's about time you came <laughs> clean? Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. I mean, Rachel, are you gonna tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Yo, all I gotta say, why is it always the army, bro? Y'all giving the army the bad name, bro. Oh my gosh. Whatever you had, it, it's gotta be over. Come on. Yeah, you better find a way to tell him. Maybe I just don't think this is the right time. That's bullshit. There's never a right time. Soon, Nick. I promise. Soon. I'll see you at the briefing. Shit. Why do I need to do the what? I better use that letter. Don't don't give me that and then like not have me use it at all. You'll have to excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Hmm. Blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. <laughs> down down in candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenail. Nice image. Uh, if only you could see the state of this place now. Makes me smile. <laughs> We got the CIA, we got the Army, the Marines, DIA, the Air Force. Hey, everyone's invited. Everyone wants a piece of history. God everyone's about America. to die except for you guys. I see you, old man. Busting out those reps. Hey, easy, easy. Hey, come join me. Hey. Maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Merwin, though. Later. We have company. Yeah. Well, you miss here would like to watch me get my sweat on. Huh? Oh, my. You want to spot me, little lady? 
Can see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merwin. He likes social skills. Uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. Sergeant Kane. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prepped. I'll see you in there, Marine. So what's his malfunction? Nick ain't been himself lately. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. I was wondering, why are you walking around with a gun like that? Who are you trying to fight? Damn, Joey, they got you sitting behind a desk? You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know? So this must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. Satellite guy, I'm your commander. Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. And if I'm not mistaken, Lance Corporal, that makes me your commanding officer. Shitting me, right? Crap, he's not shitting me. Yep, nope. Give the colonel full sight access. <laughs> Sir. I was waiting for that, like... <laughs> if I were you, I wouldn't get too comfortable behind that desk. I'm telling you. When the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. We know each other. Rachel and I, we know each other. She'll understand all's fair in love and war. Sir? The queen bitch know, but... you're referring to is his wife. Aye. Nice work, hot shot. He'll get it later. Yeah, he'll get it later. Sir, I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. So, she's the queen bitch now. She's gone up in the world. If it helps, we like to think of it as a term of endearment. I'm gonna make him feel so bad about that. Shut up. Two, I hope the bandwidth can three. cope with the data. I'll leave the ticket stuff to you. And I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. Well, we got a deal, lady. What is this so place group anyway? Objectives. Like blah, 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 blah. Organize uh, the exactly coalition. You know, I'm not going to read the whole thing. Get down on the dance floor. Much of both. I think it's dance partner stepped on his Doubt anything important on it anyway. <laughs> uh, wouldn't surprise me. Maybe when we're done, I'll let you spin me around a little bit. What am I hearing? As long as you don't step on my foot. What the f Yeah, nothing important anyway. I have two more things to look at. What do you guys do? Anyway. I looked at one thing. I literally looked at one thing. Colonel King. Well, you can't even say his first name? Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, there we go. You clear it with me first. Uh, yeah. This is my team now. What are you talking about? I have direct orders from CENTCOM to assume command of your task force. Oh. Shh. Are you serious? Yep. Have you known me to be any other way? Lieutenant Kolchak, if you'd be so kind. This is from Sock Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. Who the hell are you? This is Dr. Stokes. I've given her full clearance. I bet you have. <laughs> what the f- Okay. Guess I'll go figure it out for myself. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? 
Man, I had two other blinking flashes I needed to check out. Fuck is that? Unless I hit the first. Want an art or something? Whatever. This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. You behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect it's where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The Army is giving us a ride out there in their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the fuck we waiting for? I'm ready. That's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake, those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah, too many birds could bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. If I didn't pull out so fast, it could have been your papi. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Merwin. Sir, what's your call? Yeah, yeah, let's keep it small. We keep this thing small. If it goes south, I'll pull the plug and we can bug out. With all due respect, I think that's the wrong call. With all due respect, Lieutenant Kolchak, it's not your decision to make. This you? Merwin has a point. If we spin up too many helos, we'll increase our chance of being spotted. Any concerns, see me after the briefing. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. I don't know if I like Dismissed. that decision now, you know what? Yeah. You know what? I made the decision. Larisse, help me set up the equipment. I'm on it. I don't know, man. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie. Look, good rub down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I've got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? I'm gonna download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. Oh, the eye she gave her, man. Eric, we need to talk. There's something I have to tell you. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. Um, yeah, um... Rach, this is it? Everything I've worked on these past years, it's ready. This is the big break we've been waiting for. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. That's not even what I tried to pick. What How the- we left it, things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse, a lot worse. <sighs> Nothing has changed, Eric. You know that. You and I, there is no you and I. It's over. Please, Rach, don't say that. You're not wearing your wedding ring. She isn't. <clears throat> hey, be 
careful with that. Oh shit, sorry. But you got in that box of tricks anyway. What the fuck is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you... Oh, sure. Check all equipment. Or look at it like she doesn't know what it is. Yeah, I hear you. There we go. A bunch of letters, dude. I'm not here to read letters. What the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. If you want me to feel safe, you give me some more shooters. So, you're my technician. I've heard about you. I should fucking hope so. I'm here to keep our gear in check. And if any Iraqis pop their heads up, I'll take them clean fucking off. You well, this guy gonna be the same the whole damn story. If you need any assistance with the climbing gear, I'm here to help. Until he sees a creature. Mass, Colonel. Climbing gear. Fucking pencil pusher. I'm with you on the mission. I don't know what to talk about. Anyway. <gasps> premonition. Please tell me it's a premonition. Oh, okay. I'm just moving a cup. Secret found. Unless she end. Somebody's missing. Oh, I bet. Last guy. If he salutes me again, I swear. You think we'll bag Chemical Ali at this facility? If he's in the vicinity, we'll get him. <laughs> that almost makes it worth the risk. Almost. Well, you know, I'd still rather be sitting behind a desk. Sir, I've heard some fucked up stories about the border. You sure you don't want air support? There's a chance we'll need him. We have the element of surprise on our side. I will not allow anything to jeopardize that. I don't even get to choose. Can we take a step back and think about this for a minute? I've made my decision. You feeling lucky, Lance Corporal? Oh my gosh. My parents owned a horse named Lucky. He, he died. Oh. You need to leave. Oh, bet the farm on this. I have a good feeling we're gonna clear up. I wish I shared your optimism, Colonel. And we'll be fine. I got this. What's the point? Is this what I think it is? Oh. WP, sir. White phosphorus? It's just for popping smoke. That's all. All right. These are only to be used for cover. Understood? Understood. After all, Saddam is the one who's breaking weapons conventions. Not us. Awesome smoke screens, the frick? Downloads complete. Let's get to the helos. Let's roll. She's walking like she got some thoughts what? on her freaking mind, what? bro. You want to ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. What do you think of him? I take it you're talking about the skipper? He's a nice guy. Around here, nice don't cut it. What do you think of him? Like he's got something else on his mind. I'm nice now. Wait till I go into the field. <laughs>